high school hot shot in Oregon history to score 73 points in a game. What would old friends be if they didn't give him grief about it 61 years later? Well, he's old and he's evil. Ball hog? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he should dunk, though, I think. You know, he's not 80. <laughs> All kidding aside, Jerry Crimmins, state record holder, might be the least likely of his peers these days to fire away at the hoop. I'm basically playing basketball with a three-pronged weed, weed digger, trying to dribble it and shoot it. These three fingers here just sort of pull it sideways. For decades, Jerry has played through the pain and rigid finger curling of an incurable hand deformity. Duperton's contracture. 13 surgeries over the years did nothing more than slow the inevitable. And I wear these things. I put these things on every night when I watch TV. Jerry only thought his sporting life was running on borrowed time back at age 39 when doctors first went in to operate. If I can play five more years, that's probably all I'll want anyway. So if it's good for five, and that was 40 years ago. 40 years <laughs> He has laughed his way to prominence on the Northwest tennis circuit ever since. Jerry's routinely among the top ranked for his age group. I started in the 45s, and then you go 50s, 55s, 60s, 65s, 70s. Now I'm in the 80s, my first year in the 80s, and I'm running out of opponents. Not many can match his love for the game, his competitive spirit, unbroken by ascending years or declining grip. And when you're good enough at something and there's competition involved and there's people that you can relate to and talk to and have fun with, I don't know what is better. It's cheap. It's better than taking drugs, happy drugs. And it has taken him to the highs of state and national achievements spanning seven decades. The night Jerry Crimmins scored 73. He set that high school record back in 1952 in his hometown, Milton Freewater. Went on to play for Slats Gill on the great Oregon State team in the mid-50s. That's Stanford, 57. That's me. Married, raised kids and grandkids, taught and coached at Clackamas High School for 28 years and never gave up the game. I found out that I could do pretty good in tennis, so I started collecting those trophies. Countless memories cover the walls of his Milwaukee home, and there's more where those came from. You're not too old. Nobody is too old. It depends on how you want to think about your life. Do you want to sit in a chair and watch TV? Or do you want to get involved in a competitive sport or just exercising? And like his scoring record that has stood the test of time, so has Jerry Crimmins, the Oregon hotshot who never quit. You're not too old. Nobody's too old. That's a good lesson for us all. And how long can you keep playing at the high level? Well, Jerry mentioned in the story that around here in the Northwest, the tennis competition starts to thin out in the 80s age group, which is his right now. But then he said with a wink that they play well into the 90s, even the 95s down in Florida. So he's mapping out his future. Back to you. Great story, Dan. Thanks. Hey, we were there today as many Jew goers got their first look at one.